<laughs> All right, here we are. Four o'clock. Four o'clock in the morning. Where's the family? Where's the fingers see. up? Where's the family? There, there's, 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 I don't know. <laughs> Lauren. <laughs> you in there? Hands up. Oh, here. We're going to make sure. Okay. Yeah. And we're even taking the trash out. All right. And we got the trash. <laughs> yep. All right. We are at the airport once again. Right, hon? What? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Clark experiment. I feel like... Take two. I'm so sorry. I said something. La croissant, j'ai mangé la croissant. All right, we just landed in uh, Haiti, in Port-au-Prince, and we're making our way to the the bus, and uh, we're all super tired. So, try to give you an update as soon as we get somewhere a little bit steadier. All right, here we are on the bus. There's the boys. Well. The boy and the girl, not the boys, the boy and the girl, the kids, I should say. And there's the mama. It's hot. It's hot. All right, here we are. Next airplane, heading to Jacques Mal with Roger, our pilot, getting ready to take us into Cherokee 6. Getting close up with that Cherokee 6 right there. A little walk around. Yep. She's beaut, I tell ya. She's beaut. We ready for this? Oh yeah. Them. I gotta get on video, yeah! <laughs> There's Mama! Miss you! you. Alright, we are uh, here with Joseph. We're trying to get all the bags packed. You can see we're having a hard time. So the boys are... Uh, what are you doing? What, what are you doing? I'm going to pick it up because Joseph needed it. The shoelaces? What? Shoelaces? Yeah. You take off? Yeah. For what? For the bag. For the bag. Okay, top of the car. Okay, okay, Bobby. Bobby. Kobe. <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, we are packed like sardines into a little Land Rover truck and driving through the market trying to get to the orphanage. We're gonna drop off bags that we uh, packed full of stuff for them. And then we're gonna try to go see uh, Rusme and Demi as well and see how they're healing up. So we'll uh, shoot some video there and give you a little report how they're doing. We're on the ground. There's Caleb. There's the boys. All right, here we are at the orphanage. Yes. And uh, oh, there she is. She's gonna smile for the camera, aren't she? Mikulaj. Uh, we are tired. We didn't get much sleep, but we are excited to be here. I tell you, uh, it's been a long time, and uh, it's hot. It's time to get some, some shorts on. I will say that. And uh, get in the ocean and cool off a little bit. We're gonna try to go see Bruce May here in just a couple of minutes, as I said earlier. And hopefully, my battery won't die. Okay, we're on our way to Gabik, and it is part of all time. We stop everyone on the road. We want a little bit of money. It's much more dangerous than it is. It's, it's more of a Halloween on steroids. All right, we made it to the hotel, and we're trying to get somewhat settled tonight. 
We do not have any electricity. This is our electricity for the night. And Chris is off to getting the bed protected with a mosquito net. It takes about 12 to 24 hours, I always say, to get your bearings and uh, get back in the groove of Hayden Life. It's day two. We are looking out here, uh, trying to just get recalibrated and ready for another day. Uh, last night we arrived to the hotel that um, our ministry purchased about a year ago, and since we've been gone, it's been difficult to uh, keep up uh, a lot of aspects, and so we've walked into a situation where there was no electricity. The uh, generator that we had had in place was very old and it had broken down. It was going to cost too much money to try to repair. So we ended up getting uh, another generator in place. We did, by the end of last night, have electricity going throughout, which was awesome. Uh, we're still without water. The pump that was pumping the water from the well uh, had broken. Uh, once again, the, the pumps here only last sometimes a couple of weeks because they're so cheaply made. So we're trying to get another pump in place so that we have uh, water. So that we have water for uh, showers and, and just washing our hands and washing our face, which we haven't been able to do yet since we arrived. Uh, we were able to have a little bit of breakfast and for me, uh, coffee makes all the difference, so I was able to have um, a great pot of coffee, and uh, now I do say it took about 45 minutes to get the pot of coffee made, but uh, you come into an experience in Haiti expecting to just be patient from the moment you land until the moment you take off, because everything just takes a lot longer than what we're used to. Um, we're all kind of in that debrief stage of, and decompression stage of what I call the first 24 hours where you're just adjusting to a new culture and what you even experienced last time is different than this time and so I feel like just a, a day of being able to decompress will be good for all of us. Uh, we don't have internet yet to be able to have the kids continue their school which they need to keep up on while we're here and traveling about so we have a few goals for the day just to get things in place uh, like that so that we can uh, start functioning a little bit more normally uh, for the next couple of weeks while we're here uh, we'll keep you updated and uh, just wanted to make sure everybody knew how the first 24 hours was going and I'm not able to upload this yet because we don't have internet so I'll get it uploaded as soon as I can